All right, welcome everybody to the Junior High Awards presentation today. Um, we do this normally each year for the students in grades seven and eight to acknowledge their accomplishments and their activities that they're involved in throughout the school year. My portion of this is to recognize those students that played junior high football uh, for Park River Area High School this past year for the Park River students. So in the seventh grade, we had Nevin Daly, Jamison Irvick, Cutter Gillespie, Gavin Jones, Andrew Pick, Aiden Rost, Tanner Schramm, Drake Smith, Gabe Williams, and Andrew Zickmund. In the eighth grade, we had Emmett Miller, Tucker Woods, Colby Eisenbarth, Kenneth Holland, Cody Keela, Justin Jurgens, and Talon Trofgruben. And we do have certificates for those students, and they can be picked up uh, when the students bring their textbooks and devices back to school. All right, thank you. I'm here to recognize the class officers and student council members. Okay, junior high, we would like to recognize you. Seventh grade, President Tanner Schramm, student council members Emma Porter, Aubrey Sven, and Andrew Zickman. Eighth grade, President Danielle Thompson, Student Council Members, Elise Carter, Braylon Mervick, and Zaya Geary. Seventh and eighth grade, we enjoyed having you this year and we hope you found it um, fun and a great way to be a leader for your class. We hope that you will consider running again next year. Thank you. I would also like to, um, I guess, let you know that we are going to start some of the preliminary um, interest surveys for next year's student council. Um, I will be setting up Google Classrooms, so please check your email for an invite to a Google Classroom um, for interest. Um, even if you're not interested, please read through the information that's found there um, so that you can sign up and that we can be um, a little bit more prepared when we start school in the fall. Hi everyone, I got the privilege to coach junior high girls basketball this year. 12 girls stuck out the whole season and they were incredible 12 girls to work with all winter long. Um, I was so impressed with the way the girls improved each and every day, the way they pushed through some tough practices and even some tough games and some tough injuries. Um, and I was also really impressed and thankful for the way that they adjusted to my coaching personality and style. Um, at season's end, seventh grade, which was Addie Punte, Rayleigh Dvorak, Madison Bernhoff, and Emma Porter took second in their tournament. And eighth grade took fifth, and the eighth grade team consisted of Cadence Jelinek, Cody Bell, Elise Carter, Danny Thompson, Abby Beneda, Morgan Dvorak, Addie Skabicki, and Emma Hagen. Um, I sure do miss seeing them on court every day um, and their daily visits to my classroom. Um, I really just enjoyed my first year coaching with the Aggies, and I'm looking forward to many more. For those of you who may not know me, I'm Alexis Piatz, and I coached our 7th and 8th grade boys basketball team this year. Our 7th graders only lost two games, and our 8th graders only won one. But what I'm most proud of these boys for is how much they grew over the season, not only in their skills, but also as gentlemen as a whole. At the end of the year, we had a little reflection time and they had a lot of really great insights on what they think they could have done better over the season and what they think they're gonna do over the summer to get ready for next year. So I just wanna wish you all the best of luck and say thank you for a great season. All right, junior high, um, agricultural STEM class. Um, this year, the third grade, third quarter, the third quarter, um, egg shop class. I'm uh, giving the best use of tape measure to that class. Um, guys did a really good job of using tape measure um, constantly and did it well. So I'm giving you that award. And for the fourth fourth quarter um, class, I'm giving you the best online shop class award for the entire class. So um, you guys did a lot of work. Um, I really appreciate all the hard work you guys did. And so thank you for that. This year we had three spelling bee participants in the annual Walsh County Spelling Bee, and those three students are Morgan Dvorak, Rayleigh Dvorak, and Tanner Schramm. 
Then we had two teams compete at the Junior High Academic Olympics for Park River, and those participants included Justin Jurgens, Elise Carter, Abby Beneda, Daniel Thompson, Connor Hodek, Morgan Dvorak, Rhett Lindell, Tanner Schramm, Emma Porter, Gavin Jones, Nevin Daly, and Madison Bernhoft. Then we have the Outstanding English Student Awards. The Outstanding English Student Award goes to the one person from each grade who has consistently shown strength and skills, leadership, innovation, and creativity in the English language arts subject area. The Outstanding English Student for seventh grade goes to Tanner Schramm. The Outstanding English Student for eighth grade goes to Elise Carter. And then finally, we have our Most Improved English Student. The Most Improved English Student Award goes to the one person from each grade who has shown consistent dedication in strengthening his or her skills throughout the year. The Most Improved English Student in seventh grade is Ian Rutherford. And the Most Improved English Student in eighth grade goes to Emmett Miller. Okay, yeah, good morning. Uh, Mr. Berg here, and I'm going to <clears throat> just talk about the Math Counts Awards that I give out for the 8th grade students and 7th grade students that participated in that this year. <clears throat> so I'll just go through the list. Uh, each one of these students will be receiving a certificate, looks like this. So we'll have this set up in envelopes for you to grab when you come to turn in your <clears throat> materials. Uh, you can pick it up tomorrow or next Wednesday when you bring in your devices. But the eighth graders that went to Math Counts this year would be Abby Benada, Connor Hodek, Elise Carter, Justin Jurgens, Cody Bell, Danny Thompson, Morgan Dvorak. So again, each one of those will receive a certificate showing that they went to that competition. And then we had one more <clears throat> eighth grader and one more seventh grader. And these two will earn a certificate, but they will also get a ribbon. So <clears throat> Rhett Lindell had the second highest score overall for Park River Area School. So he will receive <clears throat> the white ribbon along with his certificate. And then eighth grader Kenny Holland had our top overall score for Park River Area School. So he will receive the <clears throat> blue ribbon as well as his certificate for Math Counts competition there. So again, that'll be in an envelope for you. You can pick that up when you bring in your materials. My other award that I give out is for the 8th grade Algebra 1 class that I teach. I give an outstanding student award for that. And a lot of what I base this on is not necessarily just grades and achievement in the classroom. A lot of it is your uh, attitude and your willingness to try new things, your um, dedication that you show sometimes outside of the classroom where you're coming in and asking for help um, during study halls or during when, whatever it is, seeking out extra help when it's needed. And <clears throat> this year, that award I have given to Elise Carter for outstanding eighth grade Algebra One student. So Elise will be receiving this certificate, which again, she'll be able to pick this up when she brings in her materials, either <clears throat> on Friday or May 20th when she returns her <clears throat> Um, technology device, whatever she has there. That'll be there for her. Congratulations to her. Those are the math awards that I have for this year. Thank you. Okay. Hi, guys. This is Mrs. Freeman, and I'm here today to hand out the awards for the junior high um, seven, or social studies as well as science. Um, these awards are given to students that have shown uh, leadership in the classroom as well as success in their individual uh, studies. All right, uh, our first award goes to our outstanding seventh grade uh, social studies, and that goes to Emma Almond. Congratulations, Emma. Our next award is for eighth grade, outstanding eighth grade social studies, and that award goes to Colby Eisenbarth. Congratulations, Colby. My next two awards go for our science department, and these students have shown leadership in the classroom as well as um, as well as being able to um, ask questions and research those questions and find their answers. And so our outstanding seventh grade life science award goes to Aubrey Sven. Congratulations, Aubrey. Our outstanding eighth grade earth science science award goes to Connor Hodak. So congratulations, Connor. 
Uh, my final award um, traditionally would be our Wolfridge Award. And unfortunately, we weren't able to go to Wolfridge this year. So I've decided to create the Spirit of Wolfridge Award. Now, the student that will be receiving the Spirit of Wolfridge is a student that has shown leadership in the classroom, integrity, um, as well as an overall pride and respect to our school and those at our school. And this year, that award goes to Danny Thompson. So congratulations, Danny. Well deserved. Um, I just have a couple things I want to say before I wrap this up. Um, first, students, I want to thank you for all your hard work that you have done this year, um, as well as over the last eight weeks. Uh, distance learning is a challenge, and you have taken it on and done amazingly well. Um, you've been motivated, and you have been successful, so congratulations for that. Parents, I, wanna, I want you to know um, how proud I am of your students and how proud you should be of them. They have worked hard, um, and they have succeeded. So students, congratulations, and enjoy a well-deserved summer vacation. Thank you.